This video covers Quest Machines dialog system integration. We'll start with this quest from an earlier tutorial and add a dialog system conversation to it. After importing Quest Machine and the Dialog System for Unity, the next step is to import the Dialog System support package found in Quest Machine's third party support folder. I've already imported it into this project. Next, we add a Dialog Manager prefab. Add a Dialog System Quest Machine bridge to it. If you need to generate conversations for procedurally generated quests, also add a Dialog System Quest Generator bridge. This component does a few things. One of the things it does is reroute the Dialog System's Quest Log class to work with Quest Machine quests. Next, on the Quest Machine game object, add a Dialog System Quest Dialog UI. This allows Quest Machine to reroute conversation content to the Dialog System. If you also want to show Quest Machine alerts through the Dialog UI, add a Dialog System Quest Alert UI. I've already made a copy of our original Quest and Quest database, but I haven't set it up yet for the dialog system. We'll assign that database to Quest Machine, and we'll edit the Quest. I've also created a dialog database, but it's not hooked into Quest Machine yet. We'll assign it to the dialog manager. It has two actors, player and quest giver. You can optionally create a quest with the same name as your quest ID. This will allow you to reference the quest in the Lua dropdown wizards. This is our conversation. It has several branches. The top branch is the quest offer. We only want to show this branch if the quest is unassigned. When the player chooses the response to accept the quest, we'll use the special Lua function GiveQuest to give that Quest Machine quest to the player. The available Lua functions are documented in the Dialog System Integration Manual. We'll follow the next branch only if the quest is active and the player has yet to enter the circle. For that, we use the getQuestNodeState function and specify the node ID. We'll follow the third branch if the quest is still active and the return node is also active. I accidentally left the script filled in from a previous test, so we'll just leave that here and we'll use the last node if the player is talking to the quest giver and the quest is already done.
Now we need to hook this in from the Quest Machine side. Edit the Quest, and in the Offer Text section, select Dialogue System Conversation Quest Content. This allows you to specify a Dialogue System Conversation to play when offering the Quest. Dialogue System Quest Conversation content takes precedence over any other content, so we can leave the other stuff there. It will be ignored. We'll also run this conversation in the active and successful states. Finally, we need to make sure that this quest is assigned to the quest giver. And this is what the quest looks like. This is a Quest Machine alert shown through the dialog UI. And that's it for integrating Quest Machine and the dialog system.